Unit 1. Computers and Devices. Computer and Online Essentials sets out the concepts and skills relating to the use of devices, file creation and management, networks and data security. This unit will demonstrate how to define the term hardware. Identify the main types of computers and devices. Identify the main types of integrated and external equipment. Types of computers and devices. Two popular types of personal computing devices are desktop computers and laptop computers. Also popular are devices such as tablets and smartphones, which are smaller and usually feature a touch screen. Click on the main types of computers and devices to learn more about them. Once finished, click next to continue. Desktop. A desktop computer is a computer that is designed to stay in a single location. It can also be referred to as a personal computer, piece, laptop. Laptop computers, as the name implies, are small portable computers that can run on a battery as well as mains power. They tablet. A tablet, or tablet PC, is a handheld mobile device that combines computing and internet access. Smartphone. A smartphone is a small handheld device with a touchscreen interface that combines computing and internet access along with the functionality of a mobile phone. Hardware. There are many types of hardware, sometimes called equipment, used with computers. Some equipment can be installed in a computer, often referred to as Some external equipment is shown above, click on each image on the left to learn more Monitor, a device that display text and graphics Keyboard, a typing device used to issue commands and enter characters Mouse, a pointing device used to select items and issue commands Scanner, a device that reads images or text and converts the data into digital information. Docking station, a device that connects a laptop computer to other devices, such as printers or scanners, to make portability easier. Printer, a device that prints information on paper or other materials. Memory card, also referred to as a flash memory card, is a type of storage media that is often used to store photos, videos, or other data that you insert and remove from a slot in a computer, a mobile device, or a card reader. Touchscreen. A touchscreen is an integrated visual display unit that serves as an input and output device. Headset. A headset is an external device that combines a headphone and microphone to provide the functionality of a hands-free telephone. Internal hard drive. An important component for processing information. The computer's main hard drive stores the operating system, applications, and files and folders associated with users of the computer. External USB drives, flash memory devices, such as USB drives, are popular ways to store data in a small, mobile format. External hard drive, external device that retains saved data. Processor an important component for processing information. RAM, working temporary memory that loses its data when the computer is shut down. Storage, internal or external devices that retain saved data. Random access memory, RAM, is the place where the computer keeps software and information that it is currently using or working on. RAM is a temporary storage location, when the computer is switched off the data is lost. Data is stored on your computer's hard drive and is loaded from the disk to RAM, random access memory, when it is needed, where it is temporarily saved. Data is transferred faster from RAM to other locations on the computer instead of from the slower hard drive. Results are written to the hard drive when processing is finished. Click. Ports are used to connect computers via cables, to input and output devices like printers or scanners. Click next to continue. Devices are often physically connected to computing devices, such as a laptop, 
through an input, output, I.O., port. Universal Serial Bus, USB. The best known input output port is the Universal Serial Bus. USB ports are standard cable connection interfaces used by personal computers and other devices. High Definition Multimedia Interface, HDMI is another type of input output port. HDMI is typically used to connect to media devices, to transfer video and audio data, for example, to connect a computer to a monitor. Video Graphics Array, VGA, a VGA port is used to physically connect a monitor, projector or TV to transfer video data. VGA ports are most typically used to connect monitors to system units. Connecting and disconnecting USB devices and equipment. A USB, universal serial bus, flash drive is a small, portable flash memory card that plugs into a computer's USB port and functions as a portable hard drive. Drag to plug the USB flash drive, highlighted in red above, into the laptop's USB port highlighted in green. Well done, you have connected a USB flash drive to a computer. Click next to continue. Once you have connected a USB flash drive to the computer the following window will appear. Click open folder to view files. You can now browse through any files stored on the USB flash drive. Click exit to close this window. It is important that you disconnect the USB flash drive from the computer prior to physically removing it using best practices. Click the arrow in the taskbar. A list of icons appear. Click the USB icon. Click eject USB flash memory. Well done, you can now connect and disconnect a USB flash drive to a computer. Click next to continue. You can connect computers, devices and equipment to each other wirelessly using Bluetooth. Bluetooth is especially useful for connecting devices such as wireless headsets, earphones and mobile phones. Click next to continue. Ensure that the device you are trying to connect to has Bluetooth enabled before you try to connect and pair it to your Windows 10 computer. You may also need to check that your computer supports Bluetooth. Click the Start button. Click the Settings icon. Click on Devices. Click on the plus icon to add a Bluetooth device. Select Bluetooth to add a Bluetooth audio device. The system searches and displays all available Bluetooth devices in close proximity. Click on Galaxy Buds 76B5 to add this Bluetooth audio device. Click Done. Well done your audio device is paired and connected through Bluetooth. Click on the exit button to close the settings window. To disconnect a Bluetooth device, Click the Start button. Click Settings. Click Devices. Click on Galaxy Buds. Two buttons appear, here we can disconnect the device or remove the device. Click on The device is now paired but not connected. Click the Exit button. Well done, you now know how to connect and disconnect Bluetooth devices. Software. The word software refers to applications or programs that perform specific tasks. Software can be installed locally on computers and devices or on a network accessed via the cloud. In this lesson we are going to look at two types of software, operating systems and applications. Click next to continue. An operating system is a software that schedules tasks, manages storage and handles communication with other devices, enabling the computer to function. Above are some of the most common operating systems for computers and devices. Click next to continue. An application is a type of software that allows you to perform specific tasks. Click the images above to learn more about them. Once finished, 
Click next to continue. Office productivity. Examples include applications that enable the creation of documents, presentations and spreadsheets. Social networking. Examples include websites such as Twitter and Facebook. Communication. Examples include email and instant messaging applications such as Gmail and WhatsApp. Media. Examples include social media applications like YouTube and news applications like Reddit. Storage. Examples include online storage applications like Dropbox and Google Drive. Design. Examples include photo editing applications like Photoshop and GIMP. Web browsers are used for accessing information available on the World Wide Web. Examples include Google Chrome, Firefox and Edge. Start up or shut down a computer. This lesson will demonstrate how to turn a computer on and off. It is important that both the computer and the monitor are plugged into a wall socket, as highlighted. Click the PC power button. The computer is making a noise but nothing is happening. Press the monitor power button. The computer is now booting up. Let's take a closer look. Click the magnifying glass above. There are a number of ways to log into your desktop using your keyboard, face recognition, fingerprints and iris scan. The PIN is a four-digit numeric password that's easy to remember. Other methods to log in can be accessed by clicking on sign-in options. Type your PIN, type 4532 into the text box. We have now signed onto the computer. We can sign out at any time. Click the Start button. Click on the profile image. A menu opens. Click Sign Out. Well done, you have signed out. Now type 4532 into the text box to log back in again. We have logged back onto the desktop. From time to time you may be prompted to restart your computer. Click Start. Click the power button. This time click the restart button. The computer switches off. But it is automatically switching back on. Click the magnifying glass to take a closer look. Well done, you restarted the computer. By default a computer has one user account, but you can share your computer with other users by setting up other accounts. User accounts allow everyone to save their own files, preferences, and settings without affecting other computer users. Click on John Burke to log into his account. Type 3072 into the text box. You have logged into John's desktop. Lastly, let's shut down the computer, click Start. Click the power button. Click the shutdown button. Well done, the computer has shut down. Click next to continue. Knowledge check. Question 1. Which one of the following terms can be used to describe the process of connecting two devices using Bluetooth? Well done. Click next to continue. Question 2. Drag to match the images above to their descriptions. Well done. Click next to continue. Question 3. Drag and match the images above with their descriptions. Well done. Click next to continue. Question 4. 
Identify by clicking on the HDMI cable from the images above. Well done. Click next. Question 5. Software like Linux and Android are examples of, click the most appropriate answer from the screen above. Well done. Click next to continue. Question 6. Web browsers are used to access information available on the World Wide Web. Well done. Click next to continue. Question 7. Drag and match the images above with their descriptions. Well done. Click next to continue. Question 8. Where on the menu should you click to sign out of Windows 10? Click in the appropriate area on the screen above. Well done. Click next to continue. Question 9. Hardware refers to the physical and tangible items that form part of a computer system. Well done. Click next to continue. Question 10. Software refers to applications or programs that perform specific tasks. Well done. Click next to continue. Having completed this unit, you should now be able to define the term hardware. Identify the main types of computers and devices. Identify the main types of integrated and external equipment. Identify common input and output ports. Connect and disconnect equipment to a computer using USB and Bluetooth connections. Define the term software. Distinguish between operating systems and applications. Recognize that software can be installed locally or accessed online. Identify common examples of operating systems and applications. Log off restart and log in to a different user account on a computer. Restart and shut down a computer.